Hello everyone, this is Yang Sang Cho, the founder of Jadam. If you are into drinking coffee, you have probably seen the news that pointed the endangered plant due to climate change, and one of them is the coffee. Climate change has brought us the new pest and disease problems on coffee plant, which have been leading cause of extinction of coffee. And one of the main cause is the CBB, also known as coffee berry borer. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to solve the problem of CBB. Coffee is produced in 70 different countries, and it has the second largest trade volume after petroleum. There is one another reason which is causing the problem apart from CBB, and that is because of coffee leaf rust. The leaf of the coffee tree will turn yellowish just like the rust on metal. And due to climate change, the coffee plantation has moved to northern side from the south. According to the Climate Institute, within 80 years, the coffee plant will face an extinction due to 8 degrees hotter climate. And the recent news has mentioned that the production of the coffee has reduced by 40%. Then there is another report that talks about the danger of CBB. They have stated the CBB as the most devastating pest for coffee plant. And in this article, they are expressing their worries of the coffee in the future. There are many chemical pesticides that are available for the coffee plant, but the effects were not very effective. So let's look into the life cycle of CBB. The maturation of the insect is about 24 to 45 days from an egg to an adult. Once it becomes an adult, within two days, it will dig into coffee bean, then it spawns about 35 to 50 eggs at once, reproduces about 3 to 5 generations on coffee tree in its lifetime. Therefore, controlling CBB in certain period is very crucial part, which means if a farmer fails to control CBB, the result would be catastrophic. They may look cute and big in the picture, but their action on coffee is brutal and the size is smaller than 1 mm. The female insect lays its egg inside the coffee berry, and during the incubation period, the hatched nymph begins to consume the berries from the inside, leaving only the shell of the berry. Which means once the female enters the berry, there is no way to control them because the shell is protecting the pest. But as we all expected, Jadam team has figured out how to control CBB, and it is written on the paper which we submitted to Hawaiian government, also on our book Jadam Organic Farming. I've recorded the result and the solution for each and every outcome that could occur during farming. With Jadam solution, coffee farmers can control about 99% of CBB. If you have been watching our YouTube videos, you might have noticed that we love to use ginkgo extract for pest control. However, treatment for CBB does not include ginkgo. We only use JWA, JS, caustic soda, and red clay powder. I have published uh, three books about organic farming and there are the ratio charts you can read from infestation to emergency. Also, you can just follow my solution from this video itself. The book includes not just CBB recipe, it includes all possible outcome from anthracnose to mouth. It is now sold in Amazon and Google Playbook store for an ebook. Also, you can always watch our old and latest video from our YouTube channel. So in early 2018, we were urgently contacted by the Hawaiian state government for treating CBB. We didn't know how severe the problem was. The person in the middle is the Secretary of Agriculture Department of Hawaiian government during the time. And the person on your right is the Mr. David Wong who requested the local government to reach out to us for these issues. We have also taken pictures with the mayor of the Hawaiian government after the successful result. Once we got the call after an official contract, we packed ourselves with the solution which we could test and offer to coffee farmers in Hawaii. Before the contract, we have shown our result in the flask first to get the confirmation, and after the short result, they were able to approve us for this mission. So let me show you the clip from 2018. There are about 30 to 40 CBB on the flask. And when we sprayed for the first time, they were stunned. Then after two minutes, 
we've seen small movement. Then after five minutes, seemed like all the movement of the pest has stopped. And this is after 11 hours. It seemed only one or two is still alive, but the rest is thankfully passed away. And this is the footage after 22 hours. Even if we have added small ratio, we could see that our solution has worked perfectly. If it wasn't effective, they would have gone outside of the flask already. And all these results were performed with USDA approved substance for organic farming. And this is the contract paper that we received from the Hawaiian state government. They told us that we are the last hope because they have been spending thousands of dollars to break free from these problems which big corporations were not being able to figure it out. This is the coffee field where the test has taken place. It is located in Big Island Hilo. We didn't test just one or two trees. We have divided the section from A to D. And each section had about 250 to 300 coffee trees. From A site to C site, we have tested with different ratio of Jadam solution. And we left the D site as it is for the comparison analysis. Because Hawaii had no ginkgo trees around, we had to solve the problems only with JWA, JS, caustic soda, and red clay powder. To see the effect clearly, we sprayed the solution once in 14 days. And because of my busy schedule in Korea, my wife and daughter have been staying in Hawaii to absorb the result. During this research, the local government and we wanted co-op research with other local organizations, but surprisingly, everyone has refused to work with us. So I have called my dear friend Dr. Chunu Nam, who is the research scientist from the Agriculture Department of Korea and former chairman of CJNF Hawaii, Ms. Kim Chang, who had passed away during pandemic, helped us with this research project when she was alive. And the result of the project was very successful. Then after the CBB, we thought maybe we could solve the issue of the coffee leaf rust as well. So we bought another power sprayer machine and mixed all the ratio with different amount to spray once in 14 days when there was no rain. To be honest, we were not expecting to solve the problem of CBB, which others couldn't figure it out. But at least we wanted to try something new, so we took our step forward. And turns out, the result was very surprising. There are certain rules to do research on coffee, which local coffee research authorities have given us. We followed the local authorities' regulation form and made a chart according to the rules. And with those bases, we were able to write a paper to submit to Hawaiian government. And from there, we knew that Jadam solution could offer 99% control rate on CBB. This is how we could be able to release all the solution for the coffee. But unfortunately, the Secretary of Agriculture Department of Hawaiian government couldn't serve consecutive terms after our project. And what I heard that government had an issue with the local researchers and corporation who are distributing and researching for the marketing purposes. It seemed like people who are into agribusiness didn't like the government working with ultra low cost agriculture. In the contract, it also mentioned about the treating papaya millibug, which we also have been very successful controlled with the same recipe that treated coffee berry borer, including the fire ant. Although the end was not very pleasing, but we got much more confident with Jadam methods that it could also work on tropical climate, not just limited to Korean Peninsula. For the whole time in the project, I felt very pleasing staying in Hawaii. I saw flower blooming from the plant and beautiful landscape of Mother Nature healed me from inside. During the project, we were not just there to research, but also did a lot of lectures and communicated with the local farmers, which was one of the greatest experience I ever had. If you are watching our video for the first time, we are a group of people trying very hard to liberate the agriculture technology from the domination of the big corporation. Your attention and support to our channel will empower us to create more videos like this. So please subscribe to our channel and like this video. And I will see you guys again with more interesting videos in the near future. Thank you for watching.